Carrie, two exercises that we need to tell you about that you're probably not doing that you can do in your everyday life, not even here. You sure? I'm sure. All right, let's go. So one of those exercises you've been doing is the door frame pec stretch. Now, necessarily, you don't need a door frame. You could use a pillar or and or a post or any kind of high surface where you can torque your arm. But for the most part, when in a door frame, it's dual action because you can actually get a little stretch in your hips. You would like your elbow level with your shoulder on both sides. Then stepping forward, start 20 to 30 seconds with your chin down and do an extra 10 to 15 seconds leaning with your head up. When doing so, bring your hips into a pelvic tilt and lean up. Get a bigger stretch in your pectoralis. Again, one of the biggest problems with pectoralis is they get tight in the pec minor area right here in your armpit, also in the major area. What that causes is this kyphotic kind of eh, rolling over of typing, texting, video games. Everything comes back to here. You go back to home where you drive, you go back to your desk. First thing you want to do is when you sit down, all those things you're hunching back over, you're rolling your shoulders, and it's allowing your chest to get tight again. You need to open up your chest and think farmer walk. Chest is up, shoulders back, healthy, taller you, even me. And we're back. The second exercise you can probably end up doing anywhere in your office at home is the seated 90-90 stretch. Seated 90-90, meaning 90 degrees at three different angles. So, what you're going to do is you're going to bring up one leg. Make sure the ankle's secure over your kneecap. You want to have a 90 degree angle from the back of your foot. The front of your knee all the way down your heel, back up to the back of your head. Same with the opposing kneecap. Gently press down and pull up gently on the opposing toe. Chest up, shoulders back. You'll hold for about 20 to 30 seconds on each leg. One side will be tighter, it's more likely to be your dominant side. So give that one a little extra tension and a little extra love, maybe an extra 10 to 15 seconds. What this does is stretch out the outside of the glute medius. Also, externally rotates the hips. You might get a little bit of uh, tension in the high and the groin. That is okay, that's the inside of your thighs, your abductor is stretching again. Again, chest up, shoulders back. Gently pull up the toe, gently push down the knee. Those are two exercises you can be doing in your office or at home. I'm still counting. I'm done. Uh, you can go home now. We're done. I got a training and you've got whatever it is you do.